If you think you have to be exceptionally talented to break an NBA record, think twice. Some records are meant to be applauded and admired, while others are head-scratching and highly unflattering. Here we have assembled the 10 most embarrassing negative records in the history of the NBA, and most of them will never be broken. Shortest NBA Career Ever Every year, there are multiple players who end up on an NBA roster without ever seeing playing time or seeing very little of it. The king of those players is Jameson Curry, a player who got a roster spot on a 10-day contract with the Clippers in 2010. In a game against the Celtics, the coach subbed him in with 3.9 seconds left in the game. Unfortunately for Curry, it would be the first and only 3.9 seconds of NBA basketball, as he was waived a couple of days later. But hey, some players play 20 years without their name getting in the record books, and it took Jamison Curry less than four seconds to do it. Worst free throw percentage in NBA history. Shaquille O'Neal is the most famous bad free throw shooter, and Hack-A-Shack was a league-wide accepted tactic to stop the big diesel. But Shaq is not the worst shooter from the foul line. It's one of his contemporaries, and a man who denied him of a fourth title with the Lakers, Mr. Ben Wallace. Big Ben was not in the game to shoot or to score. He was there to play defense, and has four Defensive Player of the Year awards to show for it, and a title with the Pistons as well. But however great was his defense, his offense was a polar opposite. Ben's 41.4% free throw rate is the worst percentage in history, and by a wide margin. We're wondering why Hack of Ben wasn't applied more. Most minutes played without recording a single stat. You may remember Joel Anthony as a member of the championship Miami Heat teams. You know, LeBron James, D. Wade, Bosh, and those fellas. Despite the super team moniker, the early Heat teams didn't have many quality starters on their roster other than the big three. In the first season with LeBron and Bosh, Joel Anthony received a bulk of minutes at the center spot due to the Heat's thin rotation. And frankly, he wasn't very good. He averaged only two points per game that year, and in January of 2011, he ended up in the record books. Joel managed to play 28 minutes in an NBA game without notching a single point, rebound, assist, steal, or a block, which is the longest time ever to play without any statistical impact. Most missed field goals without a make. Tim Hardaway Sr. is widely known for his killer crossover, as a one-third of Run TMC in the 1990s Golden State Warriors, and as a father of Tim Hardaway Jr., a current Mavericks player. Hardaway Sr. is also the owner of a pretty embarrassing NBA record. In 1991, in a year where he shot 48% from the field and made the All-Star team, Tim managed to go without a field goal in a game, shooting 0 for 17. His Warriors still managed to win the game, and Hardaway was in good spirits, saying that he's going to frame the game box score with this horrendous shooting performance. Quickest time to foul out. One of the players who played only one year in the league is also Bubba Wells. Bubba played 39 games for the Mavericks in the 97-98 season, and he more than anyone will be able to tell that basketball is a game of chess, not checkers. In chess, sometimes you have to sacrifice a pawn to get to the king, and Bubba was precisely that a pawn that his coach Don Nelson used to send Dennis Rodman to the line, a poor free throw shooter. Three minutes and six intentional hacker Rodman fouls later, Bubba was out of the game, setting the NBA record for fouling out the quickest. Worst three-point percentage in NBA history. When Charles Barkley convincingly lost a three-point contest to his Inside the NBA co-host Ernie Johnson, I thought to myself, a 60-year-old grandfather who works on TV shouldn't defeat a former NBA MVP in a shooting contest, no matter how many extra pounds the NBA guy has gained since his last pro game. However, Chuck has never been a good outside shooter. In fact, he's the worst ever, with only 26.6% of his three-pointers hitting the target. He is also the only player in history to shoot over 2,000 threes with less than 30% accuracy. It turns out that Charles loved the three-point shot, but it didn't love him back. That could be the reason for all the trash talk aimed at jump shooting teams over the years. Most technical fouls in a single season. Rasheed Wallace was one of the most talented and versatile power forwards of his era, with the ability to play inside and out, which was rare at the turn of the millennium. Rasheed Wallace was also one of the toughest, loudest, and most animated players on the court, which did not sit well with the referees. Wallace is the all-time career leader in technical fouls, and the bulk of those came in the 2000-2001 season, when he was a part of the Portland Jailblazers, 
who did not get their nickname by playing nice. She'd set the NBA record with 41 texts that year, which is 18 more than the next person on the list. Ball don't lie. Most ejections in NBA history. Not surprisingly, Rasheed Wallace is also an NBA all-time leader in ejections. When your forte is to collect technicals like they are stamps, it will lead to some early showers. She got tossed 29 times during his career, which is more than double any other player. One of the most famous ejections in history was when Sheed was just staring at the ref, who quickly gave him two texts and threw him out of the game. Lowest Scoring Game in NBA History If you remember the lowest scoring game in NBA history, kudos to you for living this long and using YouTube at an advanced age. This game happened in 1950, four years before the implementation of the 24-second shot clock, the most important rule change in basketball history. In the pre-shot clock era, teams who were in the lead were often just passing around and holding on to the ball without any desire to attempt a shot, which led to terribly boring, low-scoring games. The pinnacle of such unattractiveness was the game between the Fort Wayne Pistons and Minneapolis Lakers, which finished by a record-low score of 19-18. Yikes. Most turnovers in a single season James Harden is often criticized for his defense and over-dribbling. Despite some truth in both of those criticisms, nobody can deny that James is an offensive class of his own. He is the maestro of the pick-and-roll and pick-and-pop, and and can find open shooters with laser precision. Also, he's one of the best bucket getters the league has ever seen, with multiple scoring titles and numerous scoring records. Naturally, when you have the ball all the time and are responsible for most of your team's scoring and distributing, there will be some mistakes. With such a high usage rate, it's no wonder that James Harden is the all-time leader in turnovers in a single season. The Beard tallied a record-breaking 464 turnovers in the 2016-2017 campaign and has two more seasons in the top five. 